Okay, so we're going to look at the Mobius inversion function today. So the Mobius inversion function tells us that the one Margot function for a value n, so any integer n, is equal to the negative value of the sum of the divisors of n, where we take the Mobius function of that divisor and the log of that divisor. So check the link in the description below. I'll show you how the von Margot numbers are calculated and also how the Mobius uh, function numbers are calculated. But for now, we'll go straight into this Mobius inversion function and we'll just see if it's true. So let's try the number six. So what we're hoping for here is that the von Margot function for six is equal to the negative total of all the sums of the divisors of six and then mu of d log of d. Okay, divisors of six. So six, let's put d here. Divisors of six are one, two, three, and six. Okay, now we need the mu, so the Mobius function. So mu of d, what that really tell you? Okay, so one, so that would take the value of zero. There is no prime factors of one. Okay, two has one prime factor, namely two. So as it's got an odd number of prime factors, the Mobius function takes the value of minus one. Three has one prime factor, again, three. So as it's an odd number, the Mobius function takes the value of minus one. 6 has prime factors 2 and 3, so that's an even number of prime factors. So in which case the Mobius function takes the value of positive 1. Okay, and for the log, we just plug in the log of all these numbers here. So, let's plug them in now. So the von Margot function of 6 is equal to the negative value. So a big bracket here. Mu of d, so... That's zero times log of one. Well, that's all just going to be a big, a big crossing out because that's all going to be zero. Then we add on the next one, the two. So mu of two is minus one times log of two. Next one for three is minus one times log of three. And then for six, we're gonna add one times log of six. Okay, let's do some calculations and simplify this up a little bit. So stay with the negative value. Zero times log of one, that cancels out. Minus 1 times log of 2 times plus stays minus, so it's minus log 2. Plus minus 1 times log 3, so that's minus log 3. Then plus 1 times log 6, just log 6. Okay, okay, so we can simplify this up. Minus minus log of 2 minus log of 3 plus log of 6. Let's distribute the minus sign into here, then we'll end up with positive log of 2 plus log of 3 and then minus log of 6. Okay, using log properties, log of 2 plus log of 3, that will become log of 2 times 3 and then minus log of 6 we just divide that by 6, which then gives us log 6 over 6, which equals log of 1, which in this case gives us a 0. OK, so that's one side of the equation sorted out. Now we need to find the von Margot function for 6. So 6, von Margot function for 6. So what we know is the von Margot function is if... The von Margot function for n is piecewise function, so we get p, sorry, 
log of p will be our answer if we can get p to the power of k where p is prime and k is greater than or equal to 1. Every other circumstance it's 0. So in this case we're looking for 1 mark of 6. Well we know that 6 is made up of 2 times 3 and there is no prime number 2 or 3 to the power of a value k which k is an integer so therefore it takes the value of 0. So in which case we can say that one Margot function for 6 is 0 and we get 0 here. So that has worked on this occasion.